Yo, what's going on my little thugs? How you guys doing today? So in today's video, I'm going to be going through all my settings, my color settings, my textures, etc. And I'm putting y'all on straight sauce. I'm giving this to y'all all for free. Not like these other YouTubers and TikTokers that make you pay for the sets. I'm giving this to y'all right here, right now. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to have y'all do is go to my description and click on my Discord link to join my Discord. And once y'all join my Discord, y'all will locate the channel name Settings. And in this channel, you'll see a file called SideSettings.RAR. Now this is a WinRAR file. And if you don't know how to install WinRAR, click off this video and go look at how to install WinRAR I'm not gonna show that, but just know that's how you do it. So after you install the settings.rar, all you're gonna do, want to do is right click it and then just click extract here and it's gonna extract on your uh desktop or downloads wherever you put it. Now once you're in here, there's a lot to unpack. First of all, we have my settings, we have this readme, which I'm not gonna click on. You can click on that yourselves, and we have my client app settings. So all my settings will be in here. I'm still gonna show them in the video, but they're still gonna be in this file just in case anyone needs to go over them again. But the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my client settings. So what client settings basically do is they go into the Roblox file and they just switch up some of the files that we really can't see in the form of text like target fps display fps so what you guys want to do is before you guys actually put this on your roblox is you want to change this target fps to whatever your monitor refresh rate is so if you have 90 refresh rate it's gonna suck but you should turn it to 90. now you don't have to do this if you don't want to turn it to your monitor's refresh rate you don't have to however that's what gets you the most fps is putting it on your monitor's refresh rate you get more consistent and better fps anything you want to edit like the gray sky or the displaying your fps in the top left it's all in here as you can see display debug fps true if you want to turn that off you just turn it to false or if you don't like the gray sky you can just turn this to false so now i'm gonna show you guys how to put the client settings on your roblox so the first thing you guys want to do is we're going to click up roblox player why is studio icon messed up but you want to click on player and click on open file location then you want to click on that again and click open file location and then when you're here if you don't already have client settings there's not going to be a client settings folder so we're going to go ahead and delete this and basically you want to open a new folder and name it client settings all together capital c capital s after you get there you're going to want to open it go back to this copy this or you can just drag it either one works but make sure it goes into the client settings and then after you do that you're all done just make sure that y'all make a backup of the client settings because every single time roblox updates it's going to remove it just so you don't have to keep coming and downloading my file from my server so just make sure y'all make a backup or just copy and paste it instead of dragging it because copy and pasting is a lot easier all right now for my macro and settings so for my first side button i have the apostrophe thing to open my inventory instantly with just one click so it looks something like this i don't have to like you're saying use my keyboard or anything like that and for my second one i have my actual macro which is literally just scroll up 5ms and scroll down and from my middle bus button click this is basically if i just want to actually use my emote macro so it'd be period 5ms 1 5ms or whatever you know saying your emotes bind to so it looks something like this you know and then you would macro obviously but i can't because it's a private server moving on to my actual settings my sensitivity is 0.045 now if you guys remember it used to be 0.03 and then 0.035 but i kind of got a, a sense for a faster or a feel for a faster sense my bad so i up my sensitivity a little bit um and i lived on that for a little bit and i feel like it's doing a, a little bit better to be honest my resolution is native and my dpi is 800 everything else you guys will need to know will be in this settings tab so make sure you guys go to my discord and install this because it's very 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 useful especially if y'all want to get better at the game last but not least i'm gonna show you guys the color settings now you guys actually cannot see the color settings because i don't know how to actually apply them and show them to you so the first thing you're going to want to do is just identify what kind of windows type you have so by doing that you want to click windows r and in the bottom left you're going to want to type winver w-i-n-v-e-r right here you'll see it'll pop up a window saying that your microsoft version is blah 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 and you'll see it right here so after you guys do that go down below and click the github link name uh l doge uh d w m l u t and if you guys have 22 h2 you guys want to gonna click this link right here that says he here updated version but if you have anything below that you just want to click on releases and just install this win release.zip however like i said if you have 22 h2 you guys want to open this up open this release and then install this one all right so once you guys are actually on the app what you guys want to do is you guys want to go and click your main monitor or you can do it with all your monitors doesn't really matter but just click your main one for now click browse and then make sure you're in my settings folder and you want to click uh sidecolor.cube open this click apply and you'll notice that your screen gets a whole lot more vibrant now you can't see it on the video however my screen just went from literally like very any vibrance to like max vibrance and this is actually better than vibrance gui like a lot of people use or nvidia settings this actually makes your screen way more vibrant and overall it just makes your gameplay way better and i just recommend it to like everyone if you guys have any questions or concerns about anything make sure you guys leave a comment and or join my discord and ping me in the chat or ping any of my staff and they can help you so i hope my settings did help you on the long run and i hope y'all get way better at the hood with these but you can also use this color setting basically anywhere because it's universal it's a monitor setting 
<laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Happy Valentine's Day. I love all of y'all. Stay safe and stay blessed. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> the money.